Yes. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency, our dear FCT Minister and Governor of the FCT. Uh, we are here on a court visit to uh, greet you, to congratulate you with uh, Right Honorable uh, Zachary Anguludobi on the, your appointment as the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Uh, we are here to assure you of our support because for us, uh, the party in the FCT is FCT. Everything about FCT is FCT, FCT, FCT. So it's a collaborative effort. You would be surprised to see that uh, we contested the elections together and were okay. together, were friends. Okay. Were, as, as he, Senate. At, at the yes. Senate, yes. He, he this was, last he, election. Yes, he was the immediate, he, 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 this last election, the 2023 general election, he was a candidate for the APC in the FCT while I was for the PDP. But, uh, Your Excellency, it will interest you to note that for us here in the FCT, it's about how to develop the FCT. And uh, we felt that with the developmental strides that you have brought and having your track record as Mr. Projects and uh, what you have done so far, we feel that uh, we need to come to you, we need to see you, and we need to let you know that we at the grassroots and we who are on ground are happy with what you are doing and that you should keep it up and that uh, we give you our maximum support. Having said that, uh, Your Excellency, we want to congratulate you on the uh, establishment of the FCT Civil Service Commission. This has been what uh, we have been craving for, and then today we have it. And also, the pullout from the TSA, which will bring quick development for the people of the FCT, because we get revenue and it goes into the Federation, but as it is now, uh, it is coming directly, and just like every other, we'll be able to use it uh, for development. Apart from that, Your Excellency, one good thing, and who deserves a recommendation, is the fact that Mr. President considered one of us from the FCT exactly. and made him a minister. This we are proud of. This has been our legislative agenda, including the person who was appointed minister, and himself, uh, Right Honorable uh, Zachary Anguludobi, and myself. This has always been the yearnings and aspiration of the people of the FCT. So if something is done, we need to say we are grateful. And so we want to use this opportunity to ask you, Your Excellency, to convey our gratitude, the people of the FCT, to President Commander-in-Chief for what he did for the people of the FCT. This singular act has indeed endeared us to uh, Mr. President because he took the bull by the horn. This is what people could not do over the years, and it has been done. What can we say other than to say thank you to him and to thank him for this? So these are the issues that have brought us, and uh, be assured of our support always as you reposition this territory, as you give it both political will and some tough stance that might not be palatable at some point. <laughs> Your Excellency, this is what has brought us, and I will yield the, 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 the space for Zakaria uh, Angulu Dobi for him to just say a few words and then uh, we will. We, we, we'll, uh, Thank you. Yes. Uh, Your Excellency, actually, uh, my brother, yes, sir. and my brother Zakari, let me, on behalf of the Honorable Minister of State, and the Monday secretaries most sincerely thank two of you for this uh, visit. And what you've done today is what you're supposed to be. Members of two different political parties who run election against each other. Coming to say, look, this is not issue of party A of party B. It's an issue of the federal capital development. I commend you for that spirit. And to say that what has happened to FCT is, of course, what Mr. President in his Revealed Hope agenda, giving FCT that hope. Mm -hmm. That, look, yes, the lost hope that they have all fought at least to identify uh, that there are people who are from this area. 
even though it's a federal capital right. territory. And this is the first time any president has done it by appointing somebody from FCT mm -hmm. to be a minister. Mm -hmm. And that's why we say we need a man who has the political will to do those things people are afraid of doing. Mm -hmm. And he has kept to that fit. And those of us who are here is to give him the necessary support yes. to achieve what in terms for Nigerians. See what has happened in the Civil Service Commission. Like you rightly said, yes. it's been difficult. Mm. Go front, back, left, right, and center. But just to keep his promises, fulfilling the promises he made to the people. Why would you have cut the attainment of anybody's career? Mm -hmm. Career progression is one thing workers will always appreciate. Mm -hmm. And that bottleneck has been removed. Mm -hmm. It takes a man with a political will to do that. Mm -hmm. And he has done it. Mm -hmm. So I think that the people of uh, FCT should be very happy, like you said, yes. because what he's doing is something that civil servants will appreciate. Mm. Moving up on the TSA, like you said, is to encourage development, yes. mm. particularly infrastructure development in the FCT. Yes. Uh, with this singular effort, mm. you will see what will happen in FCT in the years to come. Very true. Very For us, very true. We want to work with everybody. It doesn't matter what political party you belong to. All we are talking about development of FCT. That's what is important. Mm. And we must work together to be able to achieve this. Mm. So I commend you with this spirit mm. and to assure you I will contact you from time to time. Yes, sir. And when you are called upon, do not hesitate yes, to join us and contribute your own quota mm. as far as the FCT is uh, concerned. I'm so happy and I can tell you we will do everything to say that the, the New Hope agenda, Mr. President, is actualized, is implemented to the fullest mm. to the advantage of Nigerians. Mm. And like I've always said, continue to preach to our people. Mm. What we are doing now has never happened where the FCT now is going to the rural areas yes. to construct roads. Mm -hmm. Mr. President has directed that each area council mm -hmm. who must carry a five kilometer road Wonderful. in each area yeah, council. Perfect. In essence, we have six area councils yes. that we are working very hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, before May 29 to achieve at least 30 kilometers Wonderful. of the roads in the area councils. It is, it is something that is unprecedented. So, uh, the president is fully, fully committed, not just within the city, mm. also within the rural uh, areas. areas. Yes. All I appeal to everybody to be patient mm. and see that uh, we are going to take tougher decisions. Yeah. Oh. We are going to do that. Yeah. And they should see it as not punitive, mm. but it's a decision that will be taken for the good mm. of the FCT. Yes. There's no two ways about it. Yes. So once more, I thank you for coming, and God will help us to actualize all that we have put down for the people of FCT. Thank, thank you. you. Thank God you. And, and on the final note, to thank Her Excellency, uh, wife of Mr. President, for the support given for the creation of the Women. mandate secretary, <laughs> secretary well, for the women. Yes, thank yes, you. Uh, I'm somebody that uh, <laughs> was very thank close you. to my mother, so I know what it means to have thank that kind you. of uh, <laughs> to have that kind of uh, secretary. Thank, thank you, Excellency. Thank you. Yes, please.